effective air pollution control systems are essential and required in today's industrial landscape, organizations are obligated to keep their facility in compliance with current regulations and to continually seek opportunities to reduce their environment impact. Pollutants like VOCs or volatile organic compounds are emission issues that must be treated before being released to the Earth's atmosphere. And a common method to treat VOCs is the use of a thermal oxidizer. A thermal oxidizer can be likened to a burner in a box. By burning or heating up the VOCs to a certain set point temperature, they are oxidized. This oxidation process breaks down the harmful particulates into carbon dioxide and water. Thermal oxidizers work well with applications where particulates may be present or have higher concentrations of VOCs. Also known as a fume incinerator, a thermal oxidizer, when designed properly, will treat a wide variety of process flow rates and VOC concentrations emitted from a facility. It all starts with the chamber which houses the heating element to burn the VOCs. The chamber is heated to a set point temperature of approximately 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the set point temperature is reached, the fumes are brought into the chamber through a system fan. All VOCs present are oxidized and are broken down into carbon dioxide and water vapor, which carry through the system and out the stack into the Earth's atmosphere. Thermal oxidizers are very effective, with a greater than 99% destruction rate However, they are not as thermally efficient. A straight thermal oxidizer will lose all the heat energy employed during oxidation. However, there is a simple solution that modifies a straight thermal oxidizer and can make the system more energy efficient. By implementing a heat exchanger, existing heat can be captured or recuperated to be reused within the system. Recuperative thermal oxidizers are an alternative to straight thermal oxidation. Adding a heat exchanger allows the system to reuse energy, which helps reduce operating costs. By recovering the thermal energy within the system, operators can minimize the amount of auxiliary fuel needed for the burner, or can even fulfill additional heat energy requirements needed in other facility operations. Designing the right system for your application is key to ensure compliance with regulations and operating requirements. Understanding how the equipment will be used, loading requirements, permit requirements for removal efficiencies and various other factors must be considered when designing a system. At Pollution Systems, we understand that every application and process is different and we leverage our industry experience and expertise to apply the appropriate technology to each customer's air pollution control requirements.